Game Thanks. started. All right, Catherine from the USA. Let's try e4. e6. So maybe we'll get a French defense. Yeah, okay. Play knight c3, one of the main moves here. And knight f6. Okay, so there's different ways to play this. You can uh, bring the bishop out to pin the knight, or you can just push ahead with your pawn. This is, I think, they called the uh, Steinitz line. And then you support the pawn with f4. And then he can undermine here. So now, yeah, let's let's go down the main line. There's an interesting main line with the peace sacrifice here. Let's see how far we go. It's uh, I should not call it the main line. There's several <coughs> options. So we'll get there soon. The main line is uh, the the line that I'm referring to is knight c6 and queen to b6, and then. Uh, Knight to uh, a4 here, attacking the queen and trying to win a pawn. Queen here, check, or here, queen a5, check. And it gets complicated from there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, after knight c6, bishop to d3, e3, to defend the pawn. Then there are other ways to play it. Probably simpler is to take and then develop the uh, dark squared bishop. So, pondering her options. Yeah, knight, knight c6. Okay, so <clears throat> bishop e3. And then taking. Yeah, so instead of playing queen b6, taking is a very respectable way to play here. Instead of queen b6, rather. So now this bishop, it's funny, this bishop is a bit loose right here. <clears throat> it's it's uh, kind of hanging in midair. There's nothing supporting it. The pawns have passed it by, and there's no piece uh, supporting it. So it can be vulnerable to discovered attack. So bishop to um, c5 is a normal move there. Here the bishop is a little bit more stable. And um, this should be okay for white. Uh, d3 square is usually a good... A good square for the uh, light squared bishop. If uh, black takes this knight, I can take back. Without uh, suffering with the pawn damage. You often get pawn damage on the queen side pawns in this uh, in this line of the French Check. after knight c3. Ah, so he's got that move though. So this is interesting. If I bring the uh, bishop back, Uh, this pawn is hanging. <clears throat> so I guess I have to play uh, a and g3. And now I can castle. I just want to unpin this knight. And um, I do have to be careful again along this dark squared diagonal here. But so far it seems okay. And now there's the idea of knight to... Um, b5 to uh, d6. Knight b5, maybe um, a3 to kick the bishop first, and then then uh, knight to uh, d6, and it's kind of lodged there and hard to hard to dislodge. And disrupts uh, disrupts black's castling privilege. Uh, what are black's ideas here? Uh, knight to b6, knight c4, knight c5 rather. Knight c5 might be interesting. It's defended there by the bishop and the queen, so I can't just take it. Well, I could take it. <coughs> and I'm threatening to take my light squared bishop, which is a good piece. Okay, but just there. So now this uh, bishop is nearly trapped. After um, knight b5, I'm threatening to play um, a3 there and just win the uh, bishop outright. Oh no, he can always go to c5, I take it back. So he goes to c5 right away. So if I exchange this bishop off, this was my thought. 
then um, I can get this square Check. on d6, and there's no piece to really challenge the. Uh, <laughs> there's no piece to challenge the, uh, the knight, except for the other knight. And then, uh, so the king has to move, and then maybe queen to, uh, oh, the king goes that way. I was thinking maybe queen here. Queen h5 hits the uh, f7 pawn. The knight can take my bishop. Um, but uh, I'm threatening just to win a pawn there, so g six or maybe f6 <clears throat> and then do i really have anything now if i move my bishop away he's got um, knight two he has knight to uh, d or e knight to e4 <clears throat> so i want to put my queen here so if he plays knight e4 i can take back and win a pawn and now he can just uh, win my bishop But I'm hoping this monster knight will be compensation. He's got a uh, light squared bishop. So how about rook here and play uh, c5 if I get the chance, c4. Try and take some pawns away from the king. Uh, he can always play knight to b7 and trade my knight off. That's, that's an idea here, I guess. Yeah, there, there it goes. <clears throat> So, can I do anything besides take the knight? Um, bishop takes is possible. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. So, that's not good. That wins a piece. Hmm. C4, and then knight takes knight. Pawn takes queen or king takes. Then I can take the... Uh, deep on not so great should here check just as an odd move yes it's not working so maybe c4 knight takes pawn takes so black would be a pawn up then pawn takes and pawn takes back as possible huh After no, after knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, pawn takes. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hard to say. Well, I could. Here's here's an idea. I could take the bishop instead, and then grab the pawn over here, and I would have something. <clears throat> something for my troubles. Seems like I ought to get something out of this position. <laughs> and this uh, taking the a-pawn can be followed up with uh, bishop to b5 check. Might be useful. And that uh, the bad bishop in the French <laughs> can become a good bishop in a hurry. Uh, for example, after an exchange and then pushing the d-pawn forward, it would have this great open diagonal here. So I didn't want to allow that. So I assume uh, rook takes is going to be played, and probably the h rook. I would bring the h rook over. And I'll play here, and I'll have a pin on the knight. And I can be defended, and then I have the check. And that should be good enough. Then I can play um, <clears throat> a4 to support the bishop. And bring the other rook over and push on check. with these pawns. Ah, there's a check here. Interesting.
Okay, uh, well I've eliminated the light squared bishop, so I guess I can go to the light squares here. At some point still, uh, I think uh, she's got to take my knight. And at that point, I should be able to grab the A pawn. Okay, there it goes. So now there's a battery on C2. <clears throat> but that's uh, sufficiently defended so far. Maybe I should play c3 at, at some opportune time. And the uh, the knight is hanging right now, so I think she's got to do something about that. Okay, yeah, Rook there, unpins and defends the knight. So let's deliver the check. Check. And um, play a4. <clears throat> and this c3 pawn is, c2 pawn is still secure at the moment. And if there's a tripling of rooks on the c file, I can play c3. The knight, however, can get active. The knight can go to, uh, yeah, that's an interesting move too. <laughs> um, so now the queen can get to this diagonal and deliver another check. Queen makes a good bishop. So let's um, defend the diagonal this way. And putting a little pressure on the knight so now if knight a4, I can actually grab the rook in the corner, I think. Uh, hopefully that's safe. <laughs> yeah, it's probably safe because it also threatens a queen to uh, e8 checkmate. If the knight were to move. Okay, so rook to d8. I'm putting a firepower behind the pawn, unpinning the knight. So I think that's a good idea, the, the rook <clears throat> pressure on this pawn. So maybe I'm going to play rook to um, d3 here. All right, that's hitting the uh, B pawn. And um, let's see, if I play C3, queen takes B2, pawn takes, um, then rook takes here is possible. Actually, after, after C3, queen takes here with check. It's a bit annoying. Hmm. Okay, is there some other sort of tactical way to defend this? I don't want to play b3. It just leaves these holes in my position. But maybe I have to. Well, got to play what you got to play. I guess I could drop my bishop back to uh, <clears throat> c4 now if I need to. I still want to get in rook d3. Hmm, queen a3 maybe is possible here. That would be awkward. It would stop rook d3 anyway because it's hitting, hitting this rook.
in a pretty tricky position. Aha. Now maybe she's thinking of a exchange sack. Take the bishop. Possibly just, just doubling here. Um, okay, I say more pressure on the uh, d-pawn is called for. <laughs> and also keeping on this diagonal to save the king from checks and uh, indirectly looking at the knight. Ah, but knight, uh, yeah, knight to um, c5 is possible. Not played. Okay, how about bishop to... Um, Well, let's think if I'm going to get mated here. Bishop to uh, c4, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes, I guess. And then I've got two rooks and a queen versus two rooks and a bishop. Ah, two rooks and a knight. Two rooks and a queen versus a rook, knight, and bishop. So it should be good, even with somewhat ragged pawns. <coughs> Yeah, so I thought uh, this would allow me to win the uh, d-pawn. That was one idea of playing uh, the bishop there. So it might have been better, actually, to just take the bishop. Go for that... Uh, go for that uh, exchange sack. Okay, hitting my uh, rook... So let's uh, double rooks, leaving the c pawn undefended. Okay, now let's think about uh, tactics. <laughs> Is there a check here? Rook takes, rook takes, check. King takes, queen here, check. Is guarded by the knight. There is no, there is no tactic there. What do I play? Maybe if we triple up, then rook takes their check, rook takes, queen takes with check, and the king is driven to the back rank. And queen here check, the king goes to g7, queen here check, and drive the king to g8 or there. So let's see, should I, I could give a few checks first and then take the knight. Check. If the king runs away, I can take the rook. So knight moving, the knight's going here with check, possibly. I can take with the queen. I mean, I have to make sure that, hey, that I do everything with check. I guess that's the point. Um, or I get in trouble here. Oh, and this goes with check, too. Hmm. Oh, let's go ahead and take the knight. It's getting too complicated. Server announcement. Now, queen takes queen, rook takes, and then... Grabbing this pawn over here. And what is this? Oh, and there's, um, this pawn goes with check. Ah, oh, this is not so clear, huh? So, I'm going to go after the other pawn. Check. Yeah, there's a defense. There's a defense for that pawn. So it may end up to be an even endgame here. Okay, I'm going to offer a draw. Offered. Game drawn. Okay, uh, good hard-fought game. I'm going to upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later.